I am Pedro Avila, one of the associate editors for the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. And today I'm here with uh, James Byrne from University of Wisconsin to talk about his paper that came out last year in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. It's uh, on allergen challenge in vivo, altering rhinovirus-induced chemokine secretion in human airway macrophages. And Dr. Byrne, can you tell us a little bit about your study? Sure, uh, Pedro, glad to do it. Um, we have a group at University of Wisconsin who are interested in allergic responses and a group who are interested in uh, responses to rhinovirus infection, those being two of the more important uh, reasons for uh, asthma exacerbations to occur. And so this is kind of a collaboration between the two groups. Um, there was a study going on with allergen challenge where uh, bronchoalveolar lavage is being conducted before and after allergen challenge. And so Maya Carta is one of our uh, students who uh, designed this study to uh, look at uh, rhinovirus responses in cells obtained before allergen challenge and in airway cells uh, after challenge. And she was evaluating chemokine responses, chemokines being important regulators of inflammatory responses. And what she found was that uh, the chemokine responses to rhinovirus were really affected by allergen challenge. Uh, allergens seem to dampen um, two chemokines that are involved in the antiviral response, while chemokines that were involved with the allergic response really weren't dampened at all. Okay. And what do you think are the implications of these findings for to understand the mechanism of asthma exacerbation? Yeah, we know that viral infections and allergy tend to be two of the biggest risk factors for exacerbations, and there's a there are a number of ideas as how uh, allergic inflammation might affect uh, the immune response to viruses. And Pedro, I know you did one of the landmark studies where you did uh, rhinovirus challenge uh, in, in a group of people before and, and after uh, allergen challenge. This kind of follows up on that a little bit and suggests that there may be some immunoregulation uh, that's different uh, in, in the uh, context of allergen challenge. Yeah. And your findings were both for minor group and major group rhinoviruses, right? And you also looked at the receptors for those viruses, and the receptors do not seem to be implicated in the mechanism for this uh, altered response. That's right. Uh, the uh, allergen challenge could affect receptor expression. In fact, it did tend to upregulate it a little bit, but that really doesn't explain why these antiviral responses were downregulated. So it seems mm -hmm. like it's a, an effect that's independent of uh, effects on receptor expression. Any ideas on how the mechanism will be for this effect? Well, um, you know, there are a number of mediators that are in cytokines that are secreted during allergen challenge. And so the thought is that probably the Th2 type inflammatory response uh, dampens the antiviral response of airway macrophages on uh, something that we'll, you should be able to model in, in tissue culture. Any uh, ideas for future studies to follow up on this? Yeah. Well, again, I, I think it's important to understand why uh, individuals with allergy, especially those who have been exposed to allergens, seem to have more trouble with rhinovirus infections. So I do think it's an important topic to follow up on. And you know, we'll probably look at some of the um, mechanisms in, in tissue culture you know, as to how these uh, uh, macrophage responses might be affected by uh, Th2-type cytokines. Thank you. You're welcome.